What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. And with me, as always, is my buddy, Mike. What's going on? Mikey, we're back. It's back. It's the nice to... Uh, it's nice to get into uh, a series that we actually enjoy and we, and we uh, enjoy watching. Yes, but did you like this <laughs> premiere... I did like question. it. Oh, you did. I did oh, like okay. it. I did like it. There was a couple things. Um, we can get to that towards the end. A couple little dislike things, but overall, no, I thought it was up front. Good. Yeah, I thought it was good. I uh, we we were pretty spot on um, with our expectations video for this episode. So it was kind of it was kind of cool that Wait, we. Wait, what did we say we, again? We <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> well, you should know. Maybe you forgot from I a just couple days ago. What we said. We no, said a just lot of things. Just basically how we're going to get some time that's passed because we need the prepping. We need to get everybody together. Yeah, right, um, We right. see that right away with the opening of the episode with with um, Rick's speech, Ezekiel's speech, and, and Maggie's speech. Um, I love Ezekiel, don't you? Like it, yeah, he, he, didn't say, he didn't say much on the on the He didn't flat, say on much, the, on the, <laughs> but we know but we just, love him. Yeah, we were just singing that off camera, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but but it was just he like I said he doesn't say much but it's just so profound. It's it, his words stick. Well, he's got a way, you know. Carrie's yeah. got a way of presenting that. Did you watch the Talking mm-hmm. Dead also? Yes, I watched. Um, oh, I think I was staring at yes. Rosita's breasts. Oh God! All, all seven hours of it, right? Uh, I don't want to sound like a pig, but come on. Mm. Listen, Jesus. you damn pig. Yeah, um, but uh, it was it was it was cool. The whole two hours, yes. No, I mean, yeah, that was very, that was, that was cool. It was um, cool to see everybody uh, come out, right? We saw T Dog, and we saw. How about when Merle comes out at the end? That was, was great. Was, yeah, brings I the moon, and then yeah, they bring Jerry out. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, it was really cool. It was a it really was cool good thing. But we're here to talk about yeah. the episode. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, I, I, I actually, I, I enjoyed it too. Yeah, there were some mm-hmm. things, like you said, we'll get into. But I mean, overall, I did enjoy it. You know what it was? Mm-hmm. And I was I was texting you during the show, and I was like, I bet you're happy Rick's back, right? Yeah. Oh, you know, absolutely. Like, not, you didn't get, we didn't get sad Rick anymore. We got mad Rick. So um, yeah. So we get the prepping. We get that. Uh, they immediately so, – so to me, what did it seem like to you? Did it seem like this was the first time they attacked, or was this like it was a culmination of, uh, okay, that the last season happened. Mm-hmm time passed but they haven't confronted each other at all and then there was that like yeah that's well yeah that's what you think happened yeah i don't think that they attacked already or something you know i think it was cool that we saw um the 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 dwight scenario you know how do you feel about that with daryl and working with him and and when we first see uh, you know the, the the locations of where the spotters are and the lookouts are. I thought that was really really cool. Yeah, to so see obviously, it. obviously, they're yeah. So they've been planning this. So, I mean, not much time has passed because one, Maggie doesn't look that pregnant, and two, Michonne mm-hmm. says her body's like she's still in pain all over. She says, yeah. I don't. I mean, I don't think it was it was a month or something like that. Think less than a been, month. So we're, we're talking yeah, like maybe, maybe a, like a, 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 a couple, couple weeks, weeks, maybe. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Long something, enough. Something long like could that. it could have even, could have even been a week. Um, long enough for them to get that intel uh, yeah. and start taking out those guys, which I have some words about later. Uh, mm-hmm. What about the armbands? What you think about that was, that? That was interesting because I didn't notice it until watching The Talking Dead, really. I watched the episode a second time. And you still and didn't notice it? No, no. I watched it I after watching The Talking yeah, Dead. Because, yeah, because, you know, The Talking Dead uh, right, came, right. Came, came on right after. Uh, yeah, it was one of the quiz questions, actually. And I was like, I don't even remember. Oh, the co- well, yeah, the color. Yeah, they were orange. Uh, Kingdom's orange. I, I mean, yeah. Was, was, was green. green. And, and then you have yeah, white, white for, the, for Alexandria. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I mean, it's cool. It's to, it, I'm sure once the the group starts fighting more and more together, and you start and and each person from each group will, they recognize will, each other. They'll recognize each other. Then that's I mean, it's just for that for now. But it was it was interesting to see the Kingdomers and, uh, and the Hilltop and the Alexandrians and everybody working together because there was one guy. I think it was from the Hilltop, and he's like. Or the or the or the female. One of them said, "I got your back," and mm-hmm. and they're like, "You don't even you know you don't even know me." It's like, "No, where I know you now." Now I know you like now. That. So, yeah. So well, that was the, that was the girl with the bow and arrow. 
Right? Yeah, I think right. that was her. And he's like, her and I don't know where the other. I think the other guy was Hilltop. He was probably Hilltop. Um, yeah. yeah, that was a really cool scene. Them yeah. all like putting together. Of course, Jerry giving uh, Enid the 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 basically it was the, his the his forearm shoulder guard. plate or something. Yeah, yeah, it was for and then uh, for it was supposed to be for a chest, right? Yeah, that was cool. The whole that whole thing leading up, like it was it was great to be like, oh okay, mm-hmm. so they the you know immediately jumping in immediately. Mm-hmm. And I'm sitting here and, you know, me and uh, my wife, Angie, are watching it and we're like, damn, this is kind of crazy that they're, they're going right into it. I was they, a little nervous. I was a little nervous. Well, you know, it's first thing. episode. Yeah. Happen. You yeah. know, it, I was I was surprised. I was shocked that they were that they were going in for the kill. You know, that, there's a I lot was, of prep, too, man. It was a lot, a lot of, prep. of prep. It was interesting. Bringing with- the bringing the hurt. Like, so obviously the whole plan was to distract Negan long enough to get him out in the open but bring the herd because Mm -hmm. they were going to basically take down the sanctuary. So their, their goal was, all right. So the plan's a little convoluted. Yeah. Yeah. So they weren't trying to just kill Negan or his lieutenants or generals, Mm -hmm. whatever you want to call them. Yeah. They they called them both, but his plan was to, to get, to wipe them out. Like basically like dismantle them completely where, they're going to overrun the entire sanctuary with walkers. Yeah. Um, okay, let's just say it. He, he should have shot Rick. I mean, he should have shot uh, that's, Negan. That's what the internet is going crazy about. You should have just, you should have just shot. Why didn't you, you tell me? Okay, so I'm going to throw a little shade. These hmm. people are good enough to drive motorcycles and hit targets on the move. They can headshot from yards away with pistols. I mean, they're they're yeah. they're all good enough to do headshots and stuff. Yet you're telling me, not one of them could have taken up a position or had a sniper rifle. I they was had just sniper say rifles. That. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. I know yeah. Dwight and I know um, Eugene were out there as well, but really, come on. But then why would they? Well, this is this is because that was one of the things, like one of my dislike um, uh, things that I wrote. I was talking with some people at work and they said that I heard, I must've heard it like three times at least today about and you should, you, they had Negan right there. They had Negan right there. I think it was more, they don't want any, they don't want any innocent people dying. And Rick said that right, right away. I'll let you guys have the opportunity to join us. I just want, you know, your boy, but it was, I was thinking maybe they could have done it a little bit better maybe not having Negan outside and so vulnerable. Mm-hmm. They could have had a door with a, with a window on it, or they could, he could have been they behind. Could have made it more realistic. Is basically what you're saying. Yeah. It could have um, been more realistic in that because, in that, but yeah, like, like yeah. you said, dude, they could have easily had the whole, their, their army right there, just like they did and have someone sniping from however far away that, that they, they have no yep. idea. Is there was even literally there. no have reason top, to not do that. It. Although the only, so, uh, all right. They, they can't get the, rid of them that easy. The only, well, okay. Show wise. Yes. But what I'm saying is like, if you're in that world, Rick is saying, I'm going to try and do this. Mm-hmm. But he, here's the thing. You can't say I'm going to do that. See, this is okay. See, now I'm going to start getting a little mad. All right. Because, <laughs> You the can't rant is just, starting early. Well, listen, man. Like honestly, yeah, you can't. You can't say I've told you twice now. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna kill you. But yeah. he's like, th- I guess to Rick, this wasn't the time. Like he's like, okay, this I'm going to kill you, bro. But they, this isn't the time. Right now, the time is I'm giving the your people a chance to make the right decision. But I'm still gonna kill you. So I guess that well, was what I that was, was supposed an, I, to be the profoundness of the situation. I think it was the numbers game. Remember, Negan even says, Negan says, you, you think have you the have numbers, numbers, right? Yeah, and he brings out Gregory. The the numbers that Negan didn't even realize was an option were these hundreds, if not thousands, of these walkers that they were luring right to the sanctuary. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, it was that was was cool enough as as it is. I was I was um excited to see that because i always say i want to see more walkers and more walkers but yeah like you said it would have been nice to see the um that like the winnebago that blew up yeah. it would have been nice to see if someone drove drove it into the building or something well they kind of did busted a hole but you didn't really see um it went they did it to blow out the the gate but you didn't see 
like into the building itself. Yeah. You know what I mean? It would have been cool if a wall came down or something like that. But and, you know what, and, though? You got to think, like, at that point, they're already being shot at because yeah. they were being shot at from the people inside the sanctuary. Yeah. They, you know, getting that thing enough, like, into that thing enough was like, just do it, just do it, just do it. Like, yeah. they really, uh, you know what? Here's the thing. Right. And it was ballsy. It was ballsy. It was ballsy, and they had a very strict regiment of what they were doing. So it wasn't like a free for all. Like you know what I mean? Like they planned mm-hmm. it and they said, "This is what we're gonna do. Let's do it to job. a T and get it done." And mm-hmm. it hadn't. If it hadn't been for Gregory, and then oh that fucking uh, snake, and then Gabriel mm. being Gabriel, forget yeah. it. My wife flipped out. She's like, "Oh, goodbye, asshole." She's like, "Forget you. I'm, I'm over you." You know, she's what, like, oh, she, wait, wait, hold on. She's like, she says to me, because she hasn't watched it in a while. So yeah. I was like, you're going to watch this with me, right? And I, you know, I, I filled her in on some of the details. And she's like, oh, is uh, is that, she's like, oh, that guy's back? Gabriel, she's like, he's not dead. I'm like, nah, but um, he's he's been he's been better. <laughs> and then she looks at me after he does that. Yeah. She's like, oh, yeah, he's been better. Yeah, right. You know, she's like, you told me he was better. He's not better. So, he's I mean. A man of God. He's a man of God, and and, and he made uh, he made a mistake because in the end, it's like, you know, Gregory, Gregory's, Gregory's, Gregory's an asshole. Yeah. yeah. I can't wait to see what happens with that because obviously we see after the attack, we see Rick and everybody waiting in the woods for Gabriel. And obviously he's not going to be coming. Right. So at some point, I'm sure we'll see Gregory head back to Hilltop or maybe he'll bump into the group on the road. Somehow. No, he's going to go back to that, the Hilltop in that vehicle. Yeah, that he's gonna go back to the hilltop, to and everybody. And... This is, but this is okay. So this, this is twofold. This is what happens. Yeah. They're gonna, he's gonna go back, and they're gonna see that he escaped, and other people are gonna find out that he turned, or he and he tried to fight against Rick. This is gonna solidify Maggie as the leader of Hilltop. Oh, and, how stupid was that already? That so they wait, so it, yeah, so he so like... <laughs> he shows up right, and that was a that was a very fun part because Thomas mm-hmm. Paine, uh, Jesus is like. Of course he came here. Like yeah. that was a great line, you know. Yeah. And then he he's like, I got nothing back there. He's like, Yeah, uh, no, we're we're with Maggie, asshole. Like yeah. that was that was fun. I enjoyed I enjoyed that. That was a cool little scene. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think that's what's gonna happen, man. He's gonna go back. This is gonna solidify. And if you're and if you've read the comic, have you gotten to that part in the comic? What happens to him? Um, you probably have. Maybe I haven't read. I haven't. I don't know. I'm sure it's a little bit different though. Well, what I'm saying is something happens to him. Yeah. I won't say it in case of spoilers for now, but uh, yeah. So th- things things definitely go down between him and Maggie later on. Um, yeah. I mean, how about Rick taking that picture? First of all, not before. Wait, before the picture, not not like he was just like blind rage, just fire, 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 oh. fire, and Gabriel reiterating to him. Uh, this isn't about you, which they had that conversation early before the attack. And he's like, this isn't about you. And he's like, well, damn it, it should be, you know, like, um, but then he takes it one time. He took that Polaroid, which is great because I'm thinking he's going to use that later when things go down. If you guys don't know what happens, just read the comic, unless you don't want to find out. If it goes that way, I won't. I I think it will. I think it will, because it's interesting. It'd be fun to have that. Yeah, you know. Anyway, if you don't know what we're talking about, go check it out. Go look read into the, the comic. comic. We won't. Yeah, we won't tell you comics. here. We won't spoil it for you here. But there's some really cool stuff, and that Polaroid will definitely, definitely. Uh, I think you know the Polaroid is new. I don't. That never happened in the comic, but I think that's going to be something very interesting. That's to, just to, to show to show what Rick did. It's like a power trip. Well, yeah. It's it's all it's all who's got the bigger you yeah. know Wang. You know it, exactly. Um, exactly. But yeah, so. You know what about uh, the whole plan? I just I, I really enjoyed the whole plan with with the four of them, uh, or f- five. How many were there up on the like well, the, the bridge? Uh, At first, it was Carol and Tara. Tara, Carol, um, and then Morgan, Morgan and, and Daryl. Just Daryl. Okay, so it was four yeah. of them, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, that was all cool. The whole the whole setup was cool. The cars were cool. Yeah. Rick getting mad was cool. Like everything was everything was 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 really interesting. How yeah. that all happened, you know? Yeah. Um. What right, about? Was, I'm gonna. I got. I got some got? questions for you. I got some got? questions for you. What about the beginning and Carl and his dad, and then the dad he when Rick scares away that one guy that was just monologuing, right? Mm. Uh, now that was the same gas station, right? As season one. 
No, no, they're completely different place. Was it? It looked because it yeah. looked. I, I. They see, just did it shot for shot. That was I know. Back in Atlanta. It look, no, yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, duh. That's yes, yeah. You're right. <laughs> I'm an idiot. They went all the way back to Atlanta. It looked they very similar back. though. Yeah. Well, I guess it's a gas station with broken shit, so of course it would. Anyway, it was a that was a that was an interesting scene. I, I thought that walker, was pretty cool. The walker, even though it wasn't a girl. Si- yeah, um, it was similar. He was where the face even looked the same mm-hmm. and. With, you know the makeup kind of looked the same it was you know this the show i you know i mean we we talked about this a little bit in our in our prediction or whatever expectation video but it's like yeah. people people think like this this is the season the show just keeps going round and round in circles but kind of on that note let me ask you this mike do you think that doing things like not having negan be shot is this going to turn people off this season? Is it going to be like, are people going to be like, oh, nope, yep, the show's dumb. See, they're doing dumb, unrealistic things because you, if you really wanted to, you'd just shoot them right there. Well, people are already flipping out well, on the Well, that's my point. Do, yeah. do you think it's going to affect? Maybe some, some, you know, these real crazed fans or not, maybe not even crazed fans. Maybe like um, maybe someone that, that's not as into it as us. Um, but is still watching. They may Casual. get to that. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, obviously, in the in the real world, he would have been taken out in a second. There was no. That's why I said it would have. It maybe would have been a little bit more believable if he was if he had something behind him, or even if he was talking. If, if he was behind, in front of someone, yeah. you know what I mean. I mean, in front of a, um, a thing, yeah. behind a thing. What or what if he grabbed Eugene or something and, and held Eugene? Right, at least make it so he can't just. But yeah. he's just showing that he's got like he figures like, hey man, if I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, whatever. Like that's I the think... that's the balls of it, that he has. That's like that's yeah. the that's the the moxie it is, it's, this guy. It, but it's to the table, but that you know? that's what's gonna eventually bring him down. Then if he's oh, that course, ballsy, yeah. because listen, it depends on the route you're gonna go. I mean, from what we know from the comic without spoiling or anything, we know what happens right with, with Negan and that whole situation. Now I have friends that say the same thing. Like, why don't you take him out? Why don't you just take him out then? Um, I'm wondering how the show is going to do the Negan plot. Um, I'm wondering if they will see, it's hard to say without spoilers. So maybe if you guys aren't up to the comic and you know, you might want to not listen to us for, for a couple minutes or so, but, with with doing a bit of spoiling, um, will they will the show kill him off? Opposed to what the comic does, um, it's it's kind of odd because we did see the cell uh, that that Gabriel built. I mean that Morgan built. I'm Morgan, sorry. Yeah. In the show, so I'm just the wondering how that's going to go because they could change things. Yeah, I think I you think they're I mean? gonna. I think I don't think they're gonna kill him off. I think I think it'd be I, interesting to keep them to keep. I, I mean, again, it'd be interesting to keep it the same the way the comic went because yeah. it's an interesting thing. Plus, plus he becomes he's still here, dude. He becomes a his role. Mm-hmm. He's out of the he's out of commission for a little while, but yeah. he's still around, and then he comes back in a big way mm-hmm. in the comic mm-hmm. up to now. Yeah. So, you yeah. know what I mean. So I I, I don't think they're gonna kill him off. Um. But, uh, oh man, there was something else that I was going to ask you. Ah, oh, dang, I think I lost it. You lost it. <laughs> I lost it. But well, I mean, I gotta, uh, go ahead. Go no, ahead. No, go ahead. No, I was going to say there were there were a couple of things. I don't want to. I don't want to do it. Yes, you do. Like I yes, you do. No, come show, on, say it. it's okay. It, it's I, a love of I'm yours. Sure you, you can... I'm sure you felt the same way. Like I said earlier, the 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 Negan not getting shot at was one of my pet peeves. I that kind of bothered me. But initially, when when the when the when the the shooting started we're just shooting and shooting at windows and and we know how much how valuable a bullet is especially for a while rick didn't have any weapons and they're just shooting out windows and shooting out windows and i'm like what the hell are they doing yeah they should have made it to we, we should have saw some some saviors up there or something at least it was just shooting out windows like target practice and that kind of annoyed me so i wrote that down and and when i when i watched talking dead uh, Hardwick kind of um, spoke about this, and he said that they were doing it for more for the noise, also for the horde. Mm-hmm. Which I don't know if that's necessarily uh, you know necessarily. No, true I agree or not. with that. I mean, I or thought the same thing. Maybe he knows that a lot of people were bitching about that. I just thought that was like ridiculous. It was just they were just shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting at these windows, and I'm like, 
Like, like what the, like, what the I fuck think, is that about? I think mostly it was, I mean, look, it's twofold. It's you're providing cover so they can't get out and shoot you. Yeah. Uh, you're luring, you're luring the walkers to you. And yeah. yeah, it was a lot of waste of bullets, but I mean, pff, well, apparently I mean, if it's you know they have plenty. Listen, so. you know, like like I said, they had said that there it's more for like the noise and for the horde, and right, obviously yeah. it worked because the horde got there. Let me ask you this, man: Do you think Gabriel's yes. dead? Do I think Gabriel's dead? Yeah, I do not think Gabriel's dead. Because I said but, to you when we were texting, I said, yes. "What did I say?" I was like, "He's he's he's going to keep him alive." Because that's what he does. Like he use, he likes to use people as bargaining chips. He likes to just scare yeah. people. He likes to, you know what I'm saying? Well, I was asking you too. I, I could have sworn I heard shots. So you mean during when? During that scene when he said from when you... the, the when as the camera was panning up from when they were locked oh, in, you saw oh, all the oh. walkers uh, going up against the you know the camper or the trailer, uh... or whatever they were in. It sounded like bang, bang. So now I don't know if that's necessarily. You did watch just... it twice, right? So yeah, I, you know what? I, yeah, think, I, heard, so I think you're I right. Heard, dude. So I don't know I if that's just right. in the in the far ground or something. It could be some of the savior oh, shooting at the walkers or something. Or no, yeah, you're right. Actually, I think you're right. Actually, I think I, I think as it was panning out, I, my mind started going, but I did hear yeah. something. Um, okay, well, we'll. I guess we'll see. When... Yeah. That happens. Uh, okay, so I know there's one thing that you've been wanting to talk about, so let's get to it, man. We'll say it. Say the words. Well, the old man Rick. Old man Rick. Let's get to old man Rick, yeah. It was one of my favorite parts of, of the uh, of the episode. Now, we got glimpses of, uh, you know, that we got that still photo of Rick laying in the bed, you know, old man Rick photo, uh, maybe a, whatever it was, a few months ago or something like that. People have been going crazy for this. So now let me ask you this. Now I know, and I'm sure you're going to agree with me, that th these visions that he has, this is what he hopes for. This is what he hopes his future will be, right? The only thing that is strange to me is not only uh, the aging, it seemed like he aged much more, um, there were people talking, and they might have even mentioned on on Talking Dead that Judith was like ten years old or something. The girl, no, that girl was not ten no, years old. She, no, she maybe she was like four. seven. I would even no, I'm I wouldn't even six say, or seven or she something. Was, like I would that, say right? maybe she's like even four because dude, the, the the time jump is supposed to be two years. Yeah, and if she's if she's two now, yeah, she's about two years old now. Yeah, so she'd be four years old. She'd be around and four, four so, and a so half. then that's that. Then that's a two year jump. So I think that I, I think, think it made Rick too drastic. Well, not um, really, because think about because I was going to ask you this: What do you think he is compared to the comic version of him? Because I'll tell you, my 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 take on that is mm. a little too much. Like his the, the goatee beard is a little too long, and the hair just a little too spiky. Like yeah. that was that was my take no, that's on I I just the feel comic like a little bit. like compa compared yeah. to the comic version. Like it went a yeah. little too. However, he is all gray in his beard already. You know his hair. He shaved it. It you know it could be graying at the roots, and of course, if you shave it, you're only going to see the root sections. I just think it was too drastic for that. Two years is still. Well, not I don't, don't, don't want to. I don't want to nitpick it. Like right, that. but but also, and I'm defending this, and I didn't, I didn't, yeah. I don't know, I don't know how I ended up being defending this, but I think think about what happens to him because you know what happens in the comic, and don't forget. Let me yeah. go back to what you said before about that you think it's what he wants in the future, but I don't yeah. think that's true because he had the cane. He was walking with. Well, the that's cane. what I was. That's what I was going to so get. So this to. that isn't right. So go ahead. Say, so say, is that is that is that then. So you're leaning towards it's it's an actual future. It, that's not a dream of his. We're getting a glimpse of the future. Yes, I think that's the future. I think they're flash forwarding, showing us a future. You think so? Mm -hmm. See, that was my my only thing with with the sequence was the broken leg. All right, mm -hmm. which well, his limp. We know why from the comic book how that happens. So that was my only way of of kind of. That's the only thing grounding it for you. Well, just just making it somewhat believable that that was the uh, uh, the future. But would they give us that? Would they show us Michonne? Because then that's that's kind of saying, all right, we know Michonne's going to survive. That's we know Rick is going to yes, survive. I think I think I think we know yes. Carl's going to survive. Well, hold on, because don't forget, there's two things I want to tell you. I did two things with three fingers at pointing out. Um, 
there's two things that I want to say. One is, yes, I think they will do that because they're going to do the time jump and they don't want it to be jarring. They don't want it to come back and say mid-season and it be too... Like, I, they may feel like that's too... It, cause if, because when it in, indefinitely does do that, mm-hmm. inevitably, the, you know, we'll already be ready for that because they were doing yeah. the festival, Yeah. right? In the comic, there's a the time jump. They do the festival. They're yeah. getting ready. We see That's when we see Rick... In his old man form, and he's and he is beaten down because this war with Negan goes really hard on him. Mm-hmm. It's really hard, and he gets beat up. Like he gets like to, he yes he gets made old. Um, the second thing is the re- the other reason why I'm thinking yes they are giving us the future is because they're also sprinkling in the other shot of him near that with that like he's he's maybe on his knees or something but he's all he's like sweaty and crying and he's and that that um stained glass thing is hanging whatever the hell that thing yeah, is yeah the the red eye rick scenario yeah so what's that what is what's so so yes we're going to give you this this glimpse this glimpse of what's to come but, but he's we're gonna also going to sh- hell right we're going to show you there. that there's also this happening and yeah. so the, the 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 flash forward is done in this dreamy you know, uh, effect. Whereas mm-hmm. the other ones, uh, you know, in looks like it's more grounded in real life. And so, yeah, so they're showing, guess what guys, this is what you're going to see in the season. By the time we get to the, this, this flash forward, he's going to been through all this shit. They all are. Maybe he's leaning over see. somebody. Maybe he's leaning over someone that's very close to him. That's died after Maybe, the war yeah. or something like that. Yeah. It was cool. It was cool with the, um, with the owl too, because there's some significance in the, in the owl and being the wise old owl and kind of stuff like that. And maybe that's what Rick will become instead of being more of the fighter. He's going to be that wise person that we ask right, yeah. about, about how to do particular things pertaining to war and stuff like that. But I want to put out one prediction. Now I know that it's very difficult in this apocalyptic world to ever get the, um, the real info, that genetic info, but that baby, Judith, is Rick's. Really? That little girl with the lighter hair and things like that. Lori had dark hair. Shane had dark hair. I think they would have thrown. They didn't do that on purpose. You know what I mean? Um, it's been. The, and the funny thing is, is, it's been the same little girl. It's girl been the same little, little girl. Yeah. yeah. It, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I think they would have thrown a monkey wrench in if the kid turned out to be, you know, dark haired or something like that. I just really yeah, because Shane Shane has your coloring, dude. And and Lori had dark hair too. Yeah, and that's that's one of those. Well, not necessarily. Well, yeah, and if you have two, if you have like, if you have brown and brown, I mean, I'm 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 blonde and blue eyes, and my parents both. Well, my my dad actually, but see, but that's not true because my dad is like has. Black well, hair like you. Hair. Well, yeah. he did. Now it's gray, but he had black hair like you. But my mom had um, like brownish, hair. yeah, like brownish yeah. hair. You know, like light brown and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I I, I see I, what you're saying, but I just think I just think that um, brown and brown for most 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 likely brown hair create create kind of like things. the brownish or the blonde, yeah, the, the dirty just, blonde. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I just think All right, that. Man. I don't think that they they do a lot of a lot of subtle things like that. And Someone's thinking, gonna set Eugene will set up a phlebotomy lab and then they'll yeah. they'll, they'll figure it out. Don't worry. Yeah. So I, after watching it, I'm like, that's Rick's that's Rick's video. video. Yeah. You know, you see things, and I'm just like, no, that that's that's Rick's kid. But um, overall, it was cool. It was it was a great episode, yeah, man. I um, I did I did enjoy it. It was fun to it was fun to see. Yeah. Uh, you um, know, like to them fight uh, back and, and yeah. Oh yeah. Some yeah, of absolutely. some of the I some of the some of it was a little like eh come on like well I thought um, how about the explosion that they set off in the with the van in the middle of the road um after after everybody the first disperses one? the the one where they were on the bridge yeah the first um, one the first explosion I think the CGI for that looked absolutely it, horrible it looked bad you it it looked like it looked like um those like 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 maybe like Monty Python or and now for something completely it's, different. It's like like it just, just cut. You can't, you can't blow the fucking G the, the, the van up and just use that. The, yeah. the real explosion. You obviously blew something up. 
right? I don't know. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to. But you know what though? But that could also be like a couple things. I'm like that could also be like they could be like the state could have been like, no, you you can't blow something up on this on this road. It's got to open up in five minutes because the rush hour is going to be coming. You know what I mean? Like that's true. So they're like, all right, well we'll use CGI and it's effect where they're just like, let's just look. It blew up. We get it. It's you know. But I but the same thing. Like yeah, there's there's some you know. How about no Shiva? Yeah, I mean, we got we, we just got back a glimpse of, the kingdom, of him in the I beginning, guess, you, know? you know, on the back of the truck. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah, Shiva looks cool. I'm glad Shiva didn't die. We kind of talked about that, uh, possible um, deaths in this in this episode, yeah. in our expectations well, video. No one died. See, I said no, no one, one died. Die. Yeah. Um, but, uh, hey, you know, I'm excited. I was shocked, like I said earlier, that we got – an attack so fast. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Um, from Rick's group, at least I was thinking more like the Negan was gonna be the ones that would, would, would attack. But well, he says they got, he now, you know, they're, they're both saying the same stuff. Like, mm. well, I mean, Rick is like, Rick's not saying Rick, Rick is like, you're going to die and you're done. You guys are done. Yeah. And Negan's like, Oh, you don't know what's coming. Like Negan to me is kind of like, all right. Oh, and he, and here's, Here's something that I kind of didn't like. I, I got a kick out of it, but I also didn't like. Your dumbass got um, chased into a trailer surrounded by dead things. You see, and then you see Gabriel, and 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 but you you still you just can't help yourself, can you, guy? You right. gotta open your mouth and be like, "Got your shit and pants on." Like it's. I didn't know that that was that. Like, had I known that was gonna be the scene, fine. But no, you're not stop Just, like any way he can. Anyone that he can intimidate anyone like yeah. like you are literally in no position to intimidate anybody. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, you're. I'm sorry, but you're not. Yeah, they're, they're I gonna, love, I love a the real character. Sh- vulnerable. I love position. JDM playing him. Yeah, I still think he's a little too narrow in the fucking shoulders for it. But, you know, he, he looks ridiculous in that jacket. He looks ridiculous <laughs> in that jacket, man. That is- you know? Listen to 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 most of to to the non comic readers, they don't know any different. No, I still think he looks ridiculous. Even I'm I'm speaking objectively now. Oh, just really? Yeah. He I'm just not... he just looks. He doesn't look like that imposing. He's a, and he's a tall man, but he doesn't look that imposing. Yeah. Like he needs to be a little more you know meaty. Anyway, the point is, sorry, Negan, you weren't fooling anyone. That was that 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 it kind of ruined the ending a little bit for me because I'm mm. like. You shouldn't be acting like a tough guy when you're yeah. literally outnumbered by the dead. Well, I'm excited to see how they get out of that. So, nice. you know, no because that's going to Someone's going to be... come and save. The saviors are going to come and save them. Yeah, you um, think and just give them enough time to... to yeah, to once, well, once they figure everything, once they get out of there, and you know, don't forget, you got Simon's still alive, Gavin's still alive. Dwight is still like yeah. they're all still alive and wait until fucking wait until Negan puts two and two together with Dwight. Yeah. It's gonna be good. Oh, uh and wasn't um oh god, what was her name again? The girl. Cause she's from the comic too. Oh damn it. Guys, help me out here. Write down uh, in the comments who the name of the girl was. Because I'm not gonna look it up. But the Regina. girl Regina. Regina, that's it. She was in the comics, I believe. I could be completely wrong, but I think she is. I think that was a character from the she, because she's there after everything. And all right, anyway, um, what is that? It, Mikey? Are we done? Uh yeah, I think I got to you know I got to what I wanted to say. Listen, dude, just you know, I'm, I'm just really glad that we got an action-packed episode, and I'm really expecting this season to be to be jammed full of that kind of stuff. So I'm excited to see what's going to happen this this season. I'm I'm I'm, I'm excited to see how long Negan will be around. Yeah. Um, I just hope that they don't drag on um, a potential death of his uh, till till it's too long till it's you know what I mean. Um, but 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 who knows? Um, it's 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 really cool to 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 be into a show, to be excited, to put the TV on yeah. and watch it because yeah. unfortunately, and, and, and we're back now with fear. How shitty must it be if you're a fear actor? Well, you know what? I just I want to say I know, I know it's fucking. <laughs> They're like, yeah. damn, we got the shaft. Yeah, damn, we don't. They don't do this. Us. Um, but also, Gimple is now show running fear, so that makes me feel better. In that it may get a little bit better next season. Well, what is that show? It's like a that's that must that must show them like, listen, we need to fucking step. It yeah, up. I I agree, I agree. But yeah. also, I, I like you said. 
I just want to just, you know, my last two cents is I'm definitely looking. I'm obviously we're looking forward to the season. Mm-hmm. I think it's going to stay action packed. I hope they do some really fun things. I hope they don't make really dumb decisions. Hope they're, I hope the dumb decisions are put to a minimal. Um, yeah. But also, dude, what other show not only has an after show? Yes, I know after shows are a dime a dozen now. But what show like celebrates 100th episode like in a huge theater with all the actors and the previous actors? And yeah, I mean, the only really one cool. that wasn't there was Shane. You know, and Lori. I mean, not Lori. Um, no, she uh, did. No, uh, not Lori. Um, a- uh, Andrea. I was well, wondering. Lori Holden. You're, yeah, her name is Lori Holden. Yeah. Yeah. Well. The yeah, Andrea. Act. Yeah, Lori, she wasn't. You're right. Lori she Holden. wasn't. They brought that. They brought back T Dog. I don't know. She could be working or dead. Who knows? But um, uh, I you know I feel bad because uh, a Comic Con I went to a few years back at the, the Wizard World Comic Con, yeah. um, over at the pier. Like we saw her sitting there, and like there was like nobody, <laughs> and I was like, I don't want. I don't want to go talk to Andrea. I hated her at the time. I hated her. Yeah. Anyway, well, um. Yeah. Okay. Less. Oh no, no. I was gonna say. I, did, I think there was there was um, there was an issue with her, and I don't remember if it was like the director, the producers, or something. Maybe a contractual thing, because they killed her off. I believe she was supposed to follow the comic. There was there was some. Yeah, there was something. I don't remember exactly. And you guys that are watching, if you know, if you want to write or uh, write it in the comics, if you know better than I do. But I know there was. I think she might have been told when she took the Andrea role that you're going to be around kind of a thing, something like that. And then something went down where they were like, ah, and, nope, you're dead. And they had like, yeah, there was a, di- a disagreement or, or maybe one another didn't like each other from whoever, whoever that was. And, and they, and they killed her off yeah. because from the comic, we obviously know that, that Andrea ends up with Rick. Um, right, yeah. That would have been pretty cool. I mean, I would have liked to kind of see that. Not she, her though. Not the she, way they portrayed she that character she because she, me she wasn't, thing man yeah she wasn't I just need everybody to be friends and all this kind of, we got to get along you know i didn't so. appreciate that character like the way they personify her in the comic the way she mm. she comes from being this like weak person and, yeah. and hurt person to this yep. badass like that's what we wanted in the comic like yeah. i i would have wanted that from the comic but anyway yep Let's digress, guys. Thank you so much. This has yes. been an, uh, a bit of an extra longer uh, video, um, but uh, we hope we said some things that you agreed with. And if you didn't agree with yeah. it, let us know in the comments. Uh, That's right. We, uh, Mikey. Uh, speaking of comments, uh, where can yes. they get to us, if anything? Well, of course, you can get to us on YouTube at Third Person Pod. Just write in the comments section below the video that you are watching. We love getting those kind of kind of comments from you guys and theories and all that kind of fun stuff. Also, don't forget about uh, us on Facebook at Third Person Pod, as well as Instagram. We've been posting some cool things uh, since The Walking Dead, uh, Walking Dead's return. And uh, hey, if you want to listen to us, you can check us out at Third Person Pod also on iTunes. Yep. And I just want to say thank you to a bunch of a bunch of just um like random people. Not not specifically, but um I want to thank everybody in the YouTube um area arena for hanging out hanging out with us during Fear of the Walking Dead. Thank you for being here on this video. We look yes. forward to, you know, uh, having you guys here. And just in general, like you guys are awesome. Uh, we never get bad com like nobody's ever a dick in the comment section yeah. to either us or each other or each other. Um we we have such I mean, our fan base is 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 growing slowly, uh, so please go tell a friend um, about Absolutely. about our videos and if they enjoy this content. But um, you know, I, everyone's just so awesome. I just want to thank yeah, everyone we because, appreciate because, it. because we, we read all the comments it. and 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 you know, again, it might take us a little bit to get to them, but um, you know, we we will get to your comment. But again, it's just I'm I'm, I'm always looking at these comments and you guys talk to each other and you're talking to us and. And nobody's a dick, and it's, it's like our videos. <laughs> it's, it feels good to have like content yeah. on YouTube where there's not just venom just p- pouring out from underneath the video. You know, it's very easy for people to do that, especially yeah. Behind, but you guys are on board, or something. Yeah, you guys are on board. You enjoy yeah. what we, you know, what we're watching, and we enjoy it, and we enjoy you guys very much. So I want to say thank you for that. And also, I, I've never actually, we never, Mikey, we never thanked the, 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 the our followers on Instagram. Our Instagram's growing. Um, and uh you know we follow back yep. a lot of people um nothing if it's listening we don't follow you but um you know we comment back and forth and you know we just we i you know we enjoy a lot of the content like most of the people yeah. on there that with that we're involved with or we follow around are all like put up similar stuff and you know, either it's cosplay or funny memes or it's just great stuff so guys feel free to uh tag us in any instagram post that you want 
and we'll do the same. But again, I just want to thank you guys on Instagram because it's awesome. I, I enjoy going to Instagram every day and just seeing run, running yeah. through and just seeing what's posted and seeing who's liked our stuff and who's commented and um, uh, you know, it, it, it's fun. So again, thank you, thank you to everyone who's been watching on on and commenting and, and sharing. So um, just share our stuff. That'd be that'd be great. That's the best thing you could do for us is just help help us. You know, get this channel a little bit. Yeah, bigger, tell tell know? a friend. Yeah. yeah, tell a friend. Absolutely. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much. We will see you most definitely on the next uh, Walking Dead episode. Uh, we'll see you yes. then. Peace. Peace.